Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Working at Chain. Today, we're going to be talking about, let me slow down. We're going to talk about pretty privilege. I think this is a very interesting video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Of being pretty. I pierced my face. I got hand tattoos that are culturally designed to destroy beauty. I hired an attorney. Because when I was six years old, someone who worked at my school was writing me love notes and grooming me. And the school did nothing in the environment. See, it's our, it starts off hot, don't it? See, I, didn't, I bet y'all didn't expect that. I didn't either. So this is going to show a different side of pretty privilege. Um, where, And I really want to dive into this because I do think there is a misconception that being pretty is great. Investigation. They just said, yeah, he tends to favorite beautiful girls. I was 5'9 when I was 12, I had the same body. Started modeling when I was 15. And maybe my experience has been singular, but I don't think it has. Because I know a lot of beautiful women who have suffered from people feeling entitled to possessing them. And when the day came that I got sexually assaulted by a stranger, people said, well, you're very beautiful, you have to be careful. Why were you traveling alone? Because I should be able to. Because regardless- well, I don't know about that last part. Um, I think anybody should be careful when they're traveling alone. I don't think it's right to attack somebody, obviously. But here's something I want to talk about. And I'll keep her up on film. I keep her up on film. I keep her up on the video. When you are pretty, very pretty, you are. And I know that you, we'll see this later. But the argument can be like, oh, well, a lot of women um, go through this. You're right. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the majority. But I would say, yes, a lot of women go through this. However, I would also say this. You being attractive and a woman being pretty, you know that men are going to be quicker to go after her, especially when it comes to trafficking, especially when it comes to uh, making um, adult films. Men tend to go after these women who are super pretty. These are the ones who normally get taken off the streets because they know they can make the money. Right. And also men tend to <clears throat> men tend to give these women a lot of attention, blowing up their DMs, always trying to holler at them and all these things because they're so attractive. I understand being attractive and being pretty can be a great thing, right? Because you do get easier things in life. But at the same time, you're gonna you're more likely to get bothered. I want to tell a quick story here in a second, but let's keep the video going. Regardless of how I look, I should never have to feel that kind of disembodiment. I'm fully prepared for TikTok to hate me. I can see it now. Y'all are gonna be like, oh, F you, being pretty is so hard. Hear me out. Emily responded to a mass of messages she received after posting this TikTok video titled Pretty privilege isn't always a privilege. Pretty privilege is a thing. I'm not here to deny that. So too, it comes with disadvantages. I've never once been in a job where I haven't been harassed. I've rarely been in social situations where I haven't been harassed. People do not usually take no for an answer with me because they think that I'm something to be possessed. People do not ask before touching me in public. I am grabbed regularly. I've been assaulted by a stranger. And I was once passed up on for a business opportunity because they said that I was too young and beautiful. And they thought that that would be distracting to the other people in the industry. Think about this. I know that's how stupid that sounds. But it does make sense. Some people would be like, hmm. It's like, and y'all follow me here. Maybe I'm not making sense here. But imagine you're going to hire two teachers, right? Two teachers, both teachers are both qualified. Teachers qualified, qualified teachers. Sorry, just get my words together. I feel like I'm slurring a little bit. Because, man, I do all this talking, man. You drink a lot of water. You know, it's, it's hard to life. So imagine you're, being a you're a qualified teacher, two qualified teachers. Both have great credentials. Everything's all being equal. The only difference between them is one is conventionally unattractive and one is super attractive, such as this lady. Right? What do you pick? You, what your mind would do, imagine that they're teaching teenagers. So that means there's going to be teenage boys and there's going to be teenage girls, right? Who do you think they're more likely to pick? If all things are being equal and they only got two options, these two, they're probably going to pick the person who's conventionally unattractive, right? Because they know there would be less problems than if somebody who is super attractive. I'm just being honest with you. That's how it is. Sometimes being pretty has its disadvantages. You may get passed up because you're too pretty. You're too attractive. Your body's too good looking. And people think, I don't know, man, you're really going to be a distraction. And the fact that she says she gets harassed. Now, I don't know what her definition of that means. She says she gets grabbed sometimes. Um, I haven't seen that too far as with pretty women, but I can say this. I do know that the women who are really attractive tend to have a lot of men 
always bothering them, asking if they have a boyfriend. Do they need a boyfriend? Do you want to go out to dinner? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? I see that all the time that happens with women who are really attractive. There's no way to get away from it. Even if they have a boyfriend, even if they're married, because they're so pretty, men don't care. They just go after them. Anyway, when a woman looks average, yeah, you get a couple more guys to come up to you. Maybe guys think they have a better chance, but when a woman is super pretty, guys sometimes cannot help themselves. Right. And they tend to go bother these women. They try to create conversations with these women, even these men who are super awkward. Right. The men who are fours and threes or whatever. Right. Who are really not attractive. They tend to go up to these pretty women anyway, thinking they have a not that they have a chance, but they can't help themselves because they're so unattractive. And this woman is so attractive that they go and talk to them anyway. And they're just so awkward. And I can understand how women who's super pretty is just like, man, I wish I could just be left alone. Because the men who aren't confident enough to walk up to them are going to also hit them up in the DMs. And it's like, anyway, I'll tell something in a second. (laughs) True story. I am treated differently and it is night and day from when I go out in public in a mask and raggedy oversized clothes and looking like I am right now. When I look raggedy, people don't touch me. They don't feel entitled to me. So not always a privilege. If you haven't understood what Emily has said so far, here's the gist of it. Pretty privilege works on the principle that people who are deemed more attractive have an upper hand in the world and are afforded many opportunities that us regular folks don't have. I just want to clarify here because I think this is a really important point and my video was super short so I didn't have time for the clarification. That in so many situations when I've shared, you know, negative experiences that have happened to me, The response is always like, well, you're a beautiful woman. Well, you're so pretty. You have to be careful. Well, what were you wearing? Well, why were you alone? Were you too nice? Because that's pretty much where the video goes on from here. So I want to kind of talk about that. Why would you ever say that? I don't understand. That's just the dumbest argument I've ever heard. This thing is driving me crazy. Um, That is probably the dumbest argument I've ever heard is or it's a it's a flawed argument. What were you wearing? Okay, okay. I can understand that in some situations. Um, depending on where you are and where the area is but you're too beautiful what were you thinking it's like man if a person's just walking around living their life that doesn't mean you have the entitled to go grab them because what is she supposed to do like if she if she already is pretty she's not going to be able to stop that sorry guys i can't hear myself Um, i'll continue talking but it doesn't make any sense for you to say that and to say oh she's you're so beautiful you can't be doing these kind of things and then these are the same people who would turn around and say, uh, oh, you should be happy. You should be happy that you're pretty. I'm ugly. At least you get to be a model. At least you get to do this. At least you get to do that. As if life still doesn't come with hardships, right? Being pretty does not mean that your life is just perfect. It means that people are going to be more likely to approach you. They're going to be more likely to bother you. Every time you're in public, people are going to be all over you, talking to you, bothering you at any second they get. Hey, can you be a model here? Oh, you'd be great in this video. Imagine being pretty in Miami with fresh and fit guys coming all around, inviting you to podcast constantly. Be like, oh, you're so hot. You want to come on this podcast? Oh, you're so hot. You want to come back to my hotel room? Oh, you're so hot. You sure you don't want to be in this movie? It's just like, oh, my gosh. And here's the story I want to tell you guys, right? I am conventionally not attractive. I don't think I am. I think if I was probably not as fat, I'd probably be maybe a five, maybe a five or a six. Um, But I've had tons of people who found me attractive, right? I've had girls in the very few, very few in between, baby. It ain't a whole lot. But I can tell you, there's been girls in my life who found me really attractive and were out of their mind when it came to me. They would follow me. They would talk to me. They DM me. I had a girl who used to blow up my phone so much, I had to change ringtones. I got so tired of it, right? So this person would blow me up all the time. They talked to me all the time. Anywhere I went, they were there. I have girls who just, they feel like they have to always be on top of me. I've had girls who would constantly hug me, touch me. I've had girls touch my butt. I mean, it's just like, oh my goodness. I can only barely understand what it's like to be a woman who's attractive. When somebody finds you attractive, and I've had hordes of girls find find me attractive, not meaning like hordes like constantly, but like there's times where I've stood in like a line and there's like these three women. And these were okay looking girls from what I remember, but they found me attractive and they started touching my butt and started touching all this stuff. And it's just like, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know men and some people in this world think that it's, it's great for people to be all of you. I am not that kind of person. If somebody wants to find me attractive, I don't, I do not 
like to be touched. I do not like to be talked to like, um, and I know this sounds really feminine, but I don't like to be talked to like I'm a piece of meat. I really don't. I don't like if when I have girls that find me attractive and it came up to me and just, oh, you're so handsome. What you going to do tonight? And I, I don't like that. Okay. You come up to me and you introduce yourself like a normal human being. Hello, my name is Alexis. Okay. Not, hey, you want to go do this and that? I've had girls walk up to me, give me condoms to have sex. It's just like, to me, man, that just makes me uncomfortable. Because it's like, I don't, like, personally, personally, me, I obviously don't see sex that way. Okay. Uh, anytime I would have a relationship with a woman, it would be for marriage or anything like that. So I'm super square. I'm a square all the way up and down. I've had times where I tried to be gangster, but I've always been a square. Grew up in a middle class house. We grew up in the suburbs. Okay. So I've never been a gangster never been a player i've always been a square and a lot of times i was a loser but when i got older you know sometimes women would give me attention and i don't like it and i don't understand why men think that women who are pretty like they like this stuff that's what happens when your mind gets stuck in that adult entertainment world okay when they see women in there and they think that every woman likes the men's advances every woman's just gonna take it every woman if you just get them there to that right spot and i don't want to get too vulgar but you know once you get them there, like once you finally show them your pickle that these women will be into you, you show them your pickle in a pick. Oh, now the women are about to go head over heels. It's like that kind of stuff to me is so disgusting. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Even the little bit that I felt and I probably felt way less than women have. And I probably felt way less than very for sure than an attractive man has and an attractive woman has. I'm sure I've not felt anything close to that. But it's to me, it's just like the little bit that I felt is so uncomfortable I can only imagine somebody who's always on top of you, always thinking you want to have sex, always thinking that they can touch you, always thinking that you're down for anything just because you look good. I just don't understand that. And so being pretty and having somebody be attracted to you is not all it cracks up to be. It's not. It is not. Okay. I'm a married man now. Right. And even before me and my wife got together, um, when she was attracted to me, I, I'm not going to tell y'all. I had to tell my wife to calm down a little bit. I'm not going to lie to y'all. My wife is attracted to me, obviously, but I had to tell her, hey, you got you to gotta chill. That's just before we were together. I'm like, you got to relax just a tad bit. I'm not into the whole being all over me thing. I just don't like that. Do not treat me like I'm just a pickle. You know what I'm saying? Do not treat me like um, I'm, I know, I understand some people get infatuated with other people, but to me, it's just, it just makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't like it though. I don't know. So you tell me if you're a really attractive woman, you let me know. Is it bothersome if somebody's always in the DM because you look good? Is it bothersome that, because think about this too. If a person's going to get with you and you're super attractive, why do you think they're getting with you? Because you're super attractive. When you're super attractive, people also look past everything else. She said to, she said she got hand tattoos and piercings to get guys off of her. She's doing things to repel men, but men look right past that because she looks so good. It's like you could it's like it would be so annoying, but like I'm trying to tell you I don't effing like you. Even if you're just an absolute bitch or you're an absolute asshole, and you're like, get the fuck away from me. They will not take no for an answer. I, I'm using language to say that this is extreme, but they can say that kind of stuff, and men will still be like, I mean, but damn, she's so hot. Just like, what does it take for me to tell you, leave me alone? Doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, I hear you on that. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Pretty privilege. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it amazing? I think it sucks. I think I think the best thing to be is be a very skilled individual and just look just good enough. Because if you're both like a Chris Bumstead, if you're really attractive and you're skilled in something, oh, you'll never get left alone. You're going to have to constantly be protecting yourself. But if you're really skilled in something, but you're not necessarily the best looking, it's easier that way because then people respect you for your skills. And some people are attracted to you because you're so good at something instead of being like, oh, he just looks good. That's it. I don't really care about anything about him. He could be every he could be the worst person on earth. Don't care. I'm going to get with him because he looks good. We see that with prisoners, don't we? Men who are prisoners and women who are prisoners. They could have killed people. And people are still like, I don't care though. They're hot. It's just like, <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'm gone.